already. It has been too long. It has been too long. I haven't recorded a video. And I want to say it's probably been three weeks now. I think when I last checked my channel, it's been three weeks since I've uploaded like a, not a YouTube short, but like a decently length video. And the reason for that is that I've been taking some time off. <laughs> There's something that I needed to deal with in my life. Um, it was sort of like a, there was something I needed to do that I've been needing and wanting to do for a very long time and that I didn't want to tell anyone about and that I just, because it was, it's, it was kind of um, a dumb thing. Like I, I will be vague on purpose because I've been wanting to do this for a long time and any time I ever talked to anyone about it, I would get discouraged from it. They'd be like, why? And this time I just said, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do it and I'm not going to tell anyone and I'm going to see what happens because I knew inside I'm like, yeah, this is kind of a dumb idea, but I just, I want to do it and I need to see why I want to do it and I need to see what happens if I do it. So I spent, and I knew that, here's the thing. I knew that it was going to bring pain. I knew that it was going to hurt. And I knew that I was going to have to deal with a lot of BS and emotional turmoil. And that, you know, maybe that had something to do with the fact that I haven't recorded anything in a while. So that's what I've been, that's been one of my focuses. I've been um, giving time to that. And I think it's been like, yeah, two, two or three weeks now. And I'm kind of in a space that I'm like, hmm, okay, I'm getting to see, I'm getting to, I'm getting to learn from this. I'm getting to see what the, the benefits and the cons and like, did I really want to do this? Why did I want to do this? Am I glad I did this? I'm very glad I did it. I get to learn as I go on and I really hope one day I will be able to talk about it directly. Like one day, once it's all over, after a long time, I'll be able to talk about it and be very clear and direct about it. Because I like being direct, I don't like being vague. But right now, right now I have to be. I have to be because I don't like talking about things I'm uncertain about. And things, yeah, things things I'm uncertain about. That's basically it. So, I've been dealing with that. It's more in the like romantical love, my personal relationship um, part of my life. And then, I've also been trying to figure out, you know, what am I going to do? I moved to Texas, moved to a new city. What's the plan for me to make money? What's the plan for me to support myself and the people around me? And I think in my last video, I talked shortly about my interest in hacking, coding, programming, something about in those lines. And I've been doing that. I stuck to it. I have been, I think I recently crossed the 15 or 16th day mark that I have been hacking, that I've been learning about the field that I've been practicing and that I've been really like actually starting to implement i haven't hacked like any um in any official program or any official company yet but i am very very amazed and very very proud of myself for my um ability and persistence to actually learn this field and i i don't know i don't know how i am actually very happy because here's the thing I moved to a new city i don't know anyone I don't have very many friends. I like to spend a lot of my time alone. Like recently, like that's been a part of this thing that I'm doing is that a part of it is that I'm going to spend a lot of time alone and I wanted to do it. You know, nowadays you hear it that like, oh, you need people. You need to go out there and you need to have a very big, you need to have a social life and it's fundamental to being a person. And I just don't believe in any, any real thing that's fundamental to being a person. So one of the things I want to do is just, I want to spend some time alone. Like I, I want to, like, I don't care. Stay out of it. Don't ask me anything. I want to stick to myself. And it has been great. I, I really don't know. I'm kind of impressed at how happy and how healthy and how like upbeat and chill I have been. Even though the past, like the past 15 days, the past two or three weeks have been just me sitting in my room learning and eating and like that's it <laughs> I, I learn from my laptop i watch courses i practice as much as i can and like sure it gets frustrating like 
it's not it's like hacking and programming languages like if you've studied it you know that like when your code gets messed up or when something goes wrong like you think you have it perfectly right and you can't find a solution or something's just not working it's frustrating <laughs> it fucking sucks yesterday i was i was frustrated the whole day because i didn't feel like studying and yeah it was just like i was frustrated because i didn't feel like studying and i would think to myself I actually want to do this. Like I, I like this field. I'm interested in it, and I want. I want, This is what I want to pursue. Why would I not feel like doing it? It's kind of like a. Why would I sabotage myself when I genuinely like this? Like, it didn't make sense to me. But that's the thing. Like even those days where, I don't feel like doing anything, where I'm frustrated or, where I'm causing myself some emotional tur emotional turmoil. I'm still happy, like I'm still relatively, in a good mood. And I'm so like, eh, like you, yeah, I expected this to happen. And here's the thing, I'm a big fan of responsibility and accountability. When I made the choice to live this sort of lifestyle, to get into the situation I'm in, to put myself in this situation, I was very clear about what was going to happen. I was like, you're going to be in pain, you're going to experience turmoil, you're not going to be talking to many people, so you can expect to feel lonely at times. And it was that... It was knowing what I was going to expect that makes me okay with it. Because when I'm frustrated, when I'm in pain, when I'm sitting down in my room just crying alone, literally all I do is I think to myself, you you did this to yourself. You knew this was going to happen. No one did this to you. This is nobody's fault but your own. And hey, sometimes it's other people that are making me upset. Sometimes it's other people. But here's the thing, it is always up to you because you choose to associate yourself with those people. That's a thing I am very, very big on is that when I spend time with someone, when I give someone my time, when I talk with someone, it is not right for me to try to change them in any way because I make the choice to spend time with them. And if I don't like them, then I should make the choice to not spend time with them. I shouldn't ask them to change. That makes no sense because it is up to you and it is your choice to be spending time with someone, all you have to do is ask yourself, okay, I know who this person is, I know what they're like, I know what they're gonna say, I know what they dislike, what they don't like, I know their anger type, I know how easily irritated, I know how annoying they can be. Am I okay with this? Like, do I still wanna spend time with them? But it's not a question of, do I get them to change or, do I point out bad behavior in them? And like, sure, it's always good to point out bad behavior when it's like obviously bad. But a lot of the times I think people just get annoyed at other people's personality. Like, let's say someone is just like not inherently more easily irritated. Like someone, you know that, like I have a friend naturally more irritated. I also have another friend naturally more passive. It's up to me to know, like, oh, I know that if I say one thing to my easily irritated friend, I'm going to get, it's going to cause an argument. And I would say, whereas to my naturally passive friend, it won't cause an argument, but maybe I'll have a harder time getting like an answer out of that. Maybe they don't like talking as much. They're not, they're not as open. So I know that I have to make more of an effort to let them know that I'm very, really interested in them. Maybe you have another friend who can't stop talking and you want to say something, or all you do is listen in the friendship, and they talk. You have to know, you have to be very clear about the person that you're spending time with and who they are. And I think it's up to, it's up to us as individuals to be clear in ourselves as to like what, who we want to spend our time with and what we're okay and what we should expect from others. But it should never be a question of trying to get someone else to change. I think I only really reserve like fixing behaviors to family or really, really close friends, really close friends, like people that I know can handle criticism, people that I know that will take criticism the right way and who will see it as constructive rather than leading to some sort of argument. So what else? I think that's mainly it. <laughs> I've really just been hanging out, trying to learn, studying, um, but I think, uh, it was worth it. It was like these past couple of weeks of 
doing some solo moding, beneficial. The question as to what's next, um, I would really, really enjoy spending more time doing the same thing. I think I would love three months of this for me to really be able to talk about it openly because then I would like be 100% sure on like, okay, this was good about it, this was bad about it, this is the outcome, and I'll be able to talk about it openly. So I think next steps for me are three more months, hopefully, of learning about hacking, um, maybe start making some money with some bug bounties, and I think uh, slowly transitioning into being more social. I think, I think that's maybe what, maybe, that's the, um, what I'm playing with right now. I think uh, after some time of being alone and working through my situation I wanted to do, I'm like, okay. I think, you know, I had my fun. I got to do what I wanted to do, spend some time alone, loved it. And now I kind of, I may be feeling ready to talk to people again. Maybe, who knows, but that's it. That's a little update for me. Um, and we'll see what happens now.